Now to a story we've been following very closely over the last year. A former Navy sailor who was convicted and imprisoned for taking photos inside a nuclear submarine has now been released from prison. He's under house arrest. Uh, he's also holding out, by the way, for a presidential pardon. Come in, Christian Saucier. He joins us now. Uh, Christian, tell me, listen, you pleaded guilty, if I'm correct here, to one count of... Um, unauthorized possession and retention of national defense information. You were sentenced to a year in prison. You have six months of house arrest. You paid a hundred dollar fine. You also have a hundred hours of community service. Based on what you did, is that a fair sentence? Well, first of all, let me say, you know, I take responsibility for what I did. I made a mistake when I was a young guy. I was 22 at the time. Mm. And I took some pictures because I was really proud of the job that I did in the military. And I wanted to be able to remember it. Um, no, I think the punishment issues out to me was a little extreme, um, but I was willing to accept it. You know, that's why I pled guilty. I didn't go to trial. I said, I'll take whatever punishment they have to give me. But I think that it's what's the issue here is that the punishment isn't doled out evenly across the board. You know, you have people like Hillary Clinton, John Podesta, and Huma Abedin who've committed far more egregious acts. You know, I'm not trying to mi minimize what I did. I made a mistake. But the photos I took were of confidential which is the lowest tier of classification, whereas the information they mishandled was top secret SCI, which is the highest. And, you know, I got a year in prison and there she was allowed to run for president. And there doesn't appear to be any kind of punishment for what they did. Christian, you could have faced, I believe, up to six years uh, in prison. And your attorneys did use, I guess you could call it the Clinton defense, where they pointed that out, that she had at least 110 highly classified emails out there, uh, as opposed to your six photographs. In the sentencing, the judge didn't really reference Hillary Clinton at all, but do you think that had an impact when he came down with the final uh, sentencing uh, guidelines? Well, I think a lot of things played into it. You know, I had a really good military record, 11 years of service, and uh, with zero negative marks against me. You know, I'm, I'm not a bad person. My family and I are all patriots, and it was very mm. clear, I think, to the judge. Um, you know, my family served in the military since World War II, and I, unfortunately, what was done to my family was just wrong, you know? And uh, yeah, I, I really hope, and I was very hopeful during the presidential campaign that President Trump saw that and would make right by it, uh, you know? And, and there's, there's still hope. Uh, you know, we have a petition out there on our website, helpchrissaucier.com where people can go on and uh, sign a petition for uh, the president to kind of review my case. You know, I, I served my debt to society. I did my year, and that's why I waited to speak out about it until I could say, you know, look, I paid a price, you know. Nothing will ever give me back the year I lost with my wife and my daughter, who just turned two. Right. Uh, but, you know, it'll definitely get me back on the right path. You know, like I said, unfortunately, you know, it happened, and we can't take it back. But... I want to be able to move on with my life. And, you know, I think after serving two uh, deployments to the Middle East and um, 11 years in the military, I, I think I should be able to, you know, get my good name back. Um, and that's talking what's most which, important to us. And talking of which, Christian, with this conviction, what does that mean for you going forward with regard to employment and, and anything else? Well, it's been an uphill battle. You know, I'm, mm. I'm still applying to jobs. I'm trying to get out there. But, yeah, no, I'm a felon. And I have another than honorable discharge from the military as a result of that felony charge. So, you know, it's kind of the double entendre. So it's 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 difficult, but we're hopeful. You know, I'm going to move on with this. My family and I are going to be contributing members of society again, and we're going to do what we can. You know, I, I I'm I'm still extremely proud to be an American. We're all we live in the best country in the world. And, uh, you know, luckily for us, a lot of other people felt the same way and voted for President Trump instead of Hillary Clinton. So, uh, you know, I think. We're, going, we're getting on the right track as a country, and, I, and I'm really hopeful, and I'm, and I'm glad to be here. Well, we followed your case every step of the way, and we thank you for joining us today. Christian Saucier, uh, former U.S. Navy sailor, thank you very much, Christian, for talking to us today. We appreciate it. Thank you, and thank you for having me on. All right. Uh